This season is getting down to it. It's the 6-5 and five Los Angeles Chargers are going to be hosting the 8-3 and three Pittsburgh Steelers. If the Chargers want to make the playoffs, then they need to be more consistent. As they have not been the most of consistent teams, losing to the 49ers a couple weeks ago. This past week, however, beating the Baltimore Ravens, led by rookie quarterback Carson Magna from Clemson. And once again, at home, they're going to be taking on a rookie quarterback in the AFC North. And will Case Vihar, no cool how to say it, Ben Roethlisberger is injured. So he's going to be filling in for the Steelers. And goodness for the Chargers with cornerback Tredavious White returning Jerry from injury. scouting, this was not a fun name to pronounce. Case Vihar, I don't know, but he has 24 touchdowns and 7 picks on the year. So he's doing pretty well. As on first down, Le'Veon Bell will be stopped. And Le'Veon Bell is going to be hurt the first play of the game. It looked like Kyle Emanuel and Joey Bosa were there. Bosa broke the sack record again. He broke it last year, too. And Le'Veon Bell is hurt for the Steelers, so bad start for that. Third and nine on the 26 for the Steelers. Kids V. Horn and Connor in the backfield. We'll give you more Le'Veon Bell injury updates in just a second. None yet, but on third and nine... Case Vihorn will find a wide open receiver. It's Quincy and Noon with a former New York Jet. And he's going to take it to the house for a 74 yard touchdown for Quincy and Noonwa. And the Pittsburgh Steelers giving them a quick so lead. For the Steelers with Le'Veon Bell being completely fine, he should return next drive with back spasms. As on second and four handoff to Melvin Gordon. Gordon with a nice first down, gaining about Charges 10. He's going to be going for a 60 yard field goal with Matt Prater. He definitely has the leg to potentially make this kick. Matt Prater from 60 yards. It's up. And it is just missed no good. He's missed a few field goals this year, but pretty much all of them have been from long distance. He's been very consistent. With the missed field goal for Matt Prater, the Steelers are going to have some very good starting field position here. Le'Veon Bell back in the game for Pittsburgh. As on first down, handoff to Bell. Bell breaks a tackle. Bell with a juke move. Le'Veon Bell pass for, pass for 25 to the 20, and the Steelers keep on rolling. 12 for the Steelers. Rodgers in motion. Richard, Richard Rodgers. I don't really like him as a Lions fan. I was on third and two. Case Vihorn finds a wide open. Well, not really wide open, but he finds Antonio Brown for a Steelers touchdown, and the Steelers. Yeah, they. Good, good start. Back at the Charger off into Vania. They're going to need to have a good drive here. Because they're already in some trouble. First and ten on the 30. Nice kick return by Jakeem Grant. As Rivers scrambling and he's going to be sacked on first down by the safety Sean Davis. Second and 18 on the 21. Rivers is going to look to pass it. Rivers looking for Aldrich Robinson. It's caught by Robinson for a first down. Ever since Neely got benched and Robinson moved into that slot receiver position. He's been very, very solid. For the Chargers. Third and three on the 49 for the Chargers. Chargers offensive line has not been very good today with Rivers and Melvin Gordon. In the backfield here, under more pressure, and it's Ryan, not Ryan Chase here, TJ Watt, the second year man from Wisconsin, bringing Rivers down, and it's now fourth and 12. Back out the Steelers offense, good punt by Kaiser of a laser, punting it to a three yard line. Is on first down, handoff to Bell. Bell with a nice run of about eight. Third and four on the nine for the Steelers. As Case V. Horn, it's going to be a pass. He has time, and it's intercepted by, I believe that's Tredavious White. And it is coming back from his injury with his first interception as a Los Angeles Charger. Third and 11 on the 24 of the Chargers. Melvin Gordon, Phillip Rivers in the backfield. As Rivers, quick pass to Melvin Gordon, and he just missed the first and down. Short, the field goal unit will not come on the field. It's going to be the Chargers offense. As on fourth and short, handoff to Melvin Gordon, and it looks like he got it, and he did. Hard hit by the Steelers linebacker, but not enough. Quarter underway, your score, Steelers 14, Chargers goose egg, but the Chargers are within the 10 at the 8. As on first down, Gordon breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle, but he's not going to break even more as he gets to the 2. Second and goal on the 2 for the Chargers. Steelers defense do going with some different formations, I don't know. As Rivers on second down, he's scrambling with it. Rivers looking for Hunter Henry, and that's going to be a Chargers touchdown, closing the gap a little Back bit. the Steelers offense, last drive, Case V. Horn threw a pick True to Tredavious White. He's on first down, Case V. Horn will pass it. He's going to scramble, he's going to 
throw it. He's going to find Martavis Bryant who gets past the 50 to the 48. 10 of the 48 for the Steelers after one play. They're already past midfield. Their offense doesn't look like it's missed a beat. As Le'Veon Bell will get killed on first down by Joey Bosa. Second and 10 of the 32 for the Steelers. As Case V. Harden's going to pass it. Case V. Harden will be sacked by Leonard Worrell, the rookie linebacker from Penn State. He had the game-clinching interception last week, as well as a fumble force, and probably the best his best game of the Steelers season. Steelers are going to be going for a very long field goal. It is 50-something yards. The kick is up, and it is way off. So both kickers have now missed a field goal, giving the opposing team some solid field position. Chargers starting on the 46. This is a handoff for Melvin Gordon. Gordon with a juke. Gordon will gain about 15 or so. First and 10 on the 27 for the Chargers. Rivers and Gordon in the backfield. Rivers fake handoff to Gordon. He's going to pass it. Looking deep for Mike Williams. He burned William Gay. And that's going to be a Chargers touchdown. And the Chargers are going to tie the game up. Third and 11 on the 44 of the Steelers. They're trying to uh, play catch up here as they've lost plenty of momentum. But Cars Vihar will find a wide open Quincy and Nunwa. Gaining 20, and Nunwa will be down after getting hit hard by a charge. Second and eight on the 19 for the Steelers. Two and a half minutes left in the first half. 14 all. As this will be a handoff to Bill, but Leonard Worrell with the hard hit, making it third on about nine. Reach the two minute warning. Your score Steelers 14, Chargers 14. As third and nine on the 19, Cars V. Harn looking for the end zone, and he finds Martavis Bryant, but he's out of bounds. And the Steelers can't challenge it since it's under two minutes. Chargers just used their first timeouts. They have two remaining as it's third and three on the 36. Rivers and Melvin Gordon in the backfield. My voice wanted to stop working there. <clears throat> as Rivers on first on third down scrambling and he will be sacked by the Steelers. I believe that was Bud Dupree. The Steelers incomplete of the first two passes as it's now third and ten. Will they run it and chew the clock or will they try to get some points and be a little more risky as on third down cars v Harn, it's gonna be i'm i cannot speak he finds martavis bryan who gets past the 50 i could not get Forgot that i mentioned it earlier but quincy and Nunwa has a broken collarbone and he's gonna be out for an extended period of time so will cars v Harn and the steelers who's one of their better receivers under a minute left for the steelers in his first half as back to martavis bryan who's had a big first half for the Steelers. offense continuing to be dominant. 40 seconds left. They are on the 33 and they have one timeout. As Cars Viharn's going to pass it. He will find uh, Antonio Brown despite great coverage from Morrell. And the Steelers are within the and 10. On the 1 for the Steelers. They have one timeout remaining in this first half. Cars Viharn and Bell in the backfield. Will they run or pass? It's going to be a pass. He's under pressure. The Chargers don't get a sack somehow. And Cars V. Harn will run it in, extending the Steelers' lead. As we enter the second half, your score, Steelers 24, Chargers 14. Chargers do have a ball, though. As on second and seven, Rivers handed off to Melvin Gordon. Gordon first down. Gordon gets to about the 49-yard line. Second and 19 after the former Kentucky Wildcat, Bud Dupree, got his second sack of a ball game. As Rivers fake handoff to Gordon. Rivers under more pressure. He's going to be sacked again. This time by the former Notre Dame Fighting Irish, Stefan To it. Beautiful punt from Drew Kaiser the laser who punted it to the 8-yard line. It's now 3rd and 7 on the 11. 7-11 for the Steelers. As it's just going to be a handoff to Le'Veon Bell, but he's going to get the first down anyway. Shrugging a defender, gaining 13 yards. 37 for the Steelers. Carzi Harm the only one in the backfield. He's going to pass it. He's going to find Martavis Bryant who gets past the 10. To about the six or the five. Second and goal on the two for the Steelers. Bell and Cars V. Harn in the backfield. As Cars V. Harn will hand it off to Le'Veon Bell. Wide open room for Bell. Touchdown Steelers and they will extend their not lead. Not looking good for the LA Chargers as they're down by 17 here. With not much time left in the third quarter. As on first down, Rivers will pass it. Rivers will scramble. Rivers will find Aldrich Robinson. Who gains almost 20 yards? on the 46 for the Chargers. If they don't get this, they are not in a good position. As Rivers is going to pass it. Rivers. He's going to look for Aldrich Robinson, who does not gain the first down. Fourth and four about midfield for the Chargers. 
Kaiser Valazer on to punt it once again. And a punt, it's not a punt, it's a fake. And Kaiser Valazer will find a wide open Williams, but he overthrows Williams. And the Chargers will not get it. It's already 2 o'clock here, early in the third. Early in the fourth quarter, could not get that out. As Carzini Hart handoff to Le'Veon Bell. Nice play by Worrell, but there is a penalty flag. As the flag was thrown late, I think it might be a face mask. And it is on Worrell, so the Steelers are just going to gain even more yards. It is second and six for the Steelers at the 18-yard line. Eight minutes left in the game. Handoff to Bell. Bell first down. Bell breaks, tackles, touchdown. Le'Veon Bell is second of the game, and the Steelers pretty much ended this game. Who's in the game at quarterback for the Chargers? It's not Phillip Rivers, and not because he's struggling or because he's hurt, but just look at the score. It's going to be Peyton Mankins once again in the rookie from Clemson as on first down, pretty much getting what Big Ben got, or not Big Ben, what um, Phillip Rivers got this whole game, and that is sad. The end of line has been horrendous this game, like they are a lot of the time, as it's second and 20 on the 11th. Baton Mankins is scrambling. Mankins finds a wide open Keenan Allen. That's going to be a first down for the Chargers. Chargers pretty much have to go for it here in 4th and 12. They're 1 for 2 today on 4th down conversions. As Mankins looking for a 50-50 ball with Mike Williams. And that's not even Mike Williams. It's Aldrick Robinson. And Robinson will come down with it for a first down. Chargers. On the 25 for the Chargers. A little under 4.5 minutes left in the game. Mankins is scrambling once again. He's going to try to get it with his legs, and he doesn't, and he loses the football. But Mankins luckily tips it out of bounds. And it's not a first down. Still have to go for it here on fourth and one. Ball's on the 18. As Mankins, it's going to be a fake handoff to the fullback, Barrett, over to Melvin Gordon. And Gordon gets to about the 10. 13 on the 13, pretty much second goal on the 13 for the Chargers. As Mike Williams in motion, fake jet sweep. Mankins loses the football once again. Gordon picks it up. Gordon's with the hurdle, but he's going to lose like 15. The Chargers are just going to play it simple and kick the field goal from 45 yards out, knowing they're not going to be able to win this game. As Prater does make it right down the Hoping to be a little more respectable here. As they're going to be starting on the 15 minute 46 left, and they have two timeouts. And down by 21 points. As Mankins on first down, immediately going to be sacked by Bud Dupree for a fourth time. Miles Ellerby struggling as that right tackle. The Chargers at the three-yard line is on second and 22. It's going to be a lob for Mike Williams. And it's going to be intercepted by William Gay. Pretty much all because the offensive line sucks. That's how your game ends. Not a pretty one for the Chargers. Final score, Steelers 38, Chargers 17. As the Chargers definitely need to work on some stuff after getting brutally dismantled by the Steelers as they drop to 6-6. Six and six, And the Steelers improve to 9-3. and three.